All right, in this example, this program is going to simulate rolling uh, two six-sided dice, and we're going to do it 36,000 times. You're going to you're going to see there's when it comes to dice, 36,000 will give us something around some nice even numbers. All right, so in a previous example, we saw that we rolled a single die 10,000 times, let's say. Here, we're going to do, uh, make it a little more complicated. We're going to have an array that handles uh, the uh, rolling two six-sided die and then storing the results of those rolls. So for this, we need to import our randomizer, our java.utility.random package, because we're going to use a random number generator for the randomness of rolling these dice. We're going to call this main class dice. And then we set up our method roll dice that's going to get called in our application later. We're going to set up a random number. And then we're going to set up variables, uh, variables for the first face of the first die, the second face of the second die, and then whatever our total is going to be. Now notice how we say we're going to have an integer, which is an array here. And that array is going to have 13 elements. Now, if you know anything about probability, uh, you should know that when you roll two dice, you've got 11 different possibilities, 2 through 12. So you can't roll a 1, and you can't roll anything over 12. It's just, you know, it works out that, you know, uh, uh, you know, 1, 1 is the lowest number that you can roll, and 2, 6 is the highest number that you can roll, and all the numbers in between. So the question is, why do we set it up so that there's 13? Shouldn't there be 11? Well, the answer is that when you're randomizing, you're randomizing from 0 to whatever number that you set up. So we're randomizing 13 because we want all 13 to be available, including 2, through 12, and then if we have the 0, so that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and all, all, so on, all the way up to 12. So that's a total of 13. Now we're going to see later in this program that we say that we don't want anything that has a 0 or a 1. So we eliminate 0 and 1 so that we only get answers. We only get results that are 2 through 12. And we'll see how that's done a little bit lower in this program. First of all, we're going to initialize all our totals at zero. So we set up a for loop. We say we want the integer index to start as zero. We want that index as long as it's less than the total's length. And then we increment the index by one each time. And so we say totals, which is going to have the parameter of the index number, and that starts as zero. Then we set up another for loop to roll that, roll the two die. Roll the two dice. We say integer roll. We start with one. We're going to roll it 36,000 times. And then we roll, we increment the rolling, the number of rolls by one each time. For face one, we say one plus whatever random number times up to six because it's a six sided die. Same thing for face two. And then when we get our totals, we want to take the number that we get from face one, whatever it happens to come up as number that we get from phase two and add them together. So if you get a one and a three, it's going to add to four and so on. And then we're going to increment that each time we run, the, we run these four loops. Then once we've got all of our results, we're going to print them out to the user. We're going to show the sum of the two totals. We're going to show the frequency that they came up and then the percentage of the total 36,000. And then we're going to say here in this statement, Here's how we say we want to ignore any time a 0 or a 1 comes up in our randomization. So you don't have to do that with physical dice. With physical dice, you only got six sides. You're never going to get a 0. You're never going to get a 1. You're only going to get a 2 through 12. Here, when you randomize the 13 possibilities, sometimes it's going to come up as 0 or, or 1. So we say we loop through all of these for the integers when it equals 2. We say k less than the total's length. So as long as it's, if, if it ever comes up less than, you know, two or, le or less, in other words, one or zero, then we're going to leave those out. Then we say that we want to, for the percentage, we want to divide it by 360. That'll, that'll bring it down to a standard percentage number like 10, 20, or 30. Then we're going to print out our totals. All right, so this is the program that will handle the rolling of the die, then we want